Well, it was a, uh, it was a great college football game, and I you know, hate for anyone to lose in that situation, especially the way it happened. Under your blankenship has been, is and has been an unbelievable representative of the University of Georgia and kicker. And, uh, his, his heart goes out to him to lose in that fashion. He's, a, he's an outstanding young man, and he's about all the right things in college athletics. But really proud of our guys. You know, you show a lot of metal, a lot of toughness. You talk in terms of the character of the program, the culture of the program, the leadership of the program, uh, and, and the character of the young men in that locker room. You know, we've been through a lot this year. We had we've been very inconsistent to this point. And the bottom line is, we did what we had to do to win the ball game. You know, when Ryan gets hurt, the carry on comes in, and gutsy has held performance. You know, he's been limited in practice, hasn't been able to do a lot as far as those things are concerned. I thought Ryan did a really good job of adjusting to, to get some things where he could. You know, it's hard. You don't rep, rep much as the backup quarterback. You just don't. You don't get the many turns and reps. And I thought the carry on just came in and fought his butt off. I'm so proud of him. Uh, you know, defensively got some turnovers. That's what we needed. Scored on defense. Got the game in overtime. Of course, when we missed the field goal, and you know, the heart's breaking for Parker right there, and just give us another chance. Went for it on fourth down. I feel like we needed a, a touchdown in that situation. We were a little fatigued defensively. Uh, you know, and Jake was throwing the ball extremely well and throwing the ball in some really tight areas. You know, he completed some balls. We had, thought we had good coverage and give them credit. They made some plays in the throwing game as far as those things were concerned. But, uh, hey, our kids fought their ass off. You know, you, you can't question uh, that as far as our football team is concerned how hard they play. Uh, we need to be a little more consistent and uh, figure some things out moving forward. But we're going to enjoy tonight and start getting ready for Florida tomorrow. And they've got a good football team. So I'll open it up for any questions. Good. Will House Ryan, do you know? I think, I'm not sure, you know, we'll find out more. I mean, he was uh, just not moving well enough to protect himself, and that was the reason why we took him out. It was not that we feel like there's any severe injury or anything. He just wasn't moving well enough to protect himself, and the health of the student athlete is the most important thing. Also in the first overtime, the fourth and one, you mentioned you thought you needed a touchdown. Was that just because Parker had missed the previous one? Or you said no, I had nothing to do with that. that. I just, we were fatigued on defense. You think, you know, in terms of the drive they had before half, Israel makes the interception to score, and then they come right down the field. We're at 46 snaps in the second half. And a lot of that wasn't necessarily because of our offense. It's because they, they maintained some third downs. You know, yeah, I mean, you're 9 of 18 on third down. That stinks. So, you know, we weren't, we weren't getting off the field enough on third down in the first half, and they were staying on the field. Again, I thought we had some really good coverage. We had some, some contested throws. They did a nice job. Um, but I thought we were a little fatigued. I felt like we needed a touchdown because I, I was concerned about us going out and making another stop defensively. Um, well, what would you say to your defensive line today? See what Javon and uh, DJ and Eric really well. Well, you know, I, I really feel like Colin, you know, pretty much for the whole year we've played consistently well, you know, consistently well up front. Javon's been very disruptive. Kobe played another good game. He had a couple tackles for us. Ricky Sanders continues to come on. Zach Pickens. You know, those four guys inside, DJ, you know, Aaron Sterling, JJ, Danny Fennell um, flashed in there a little bit. All of those guys have played good football for us. We just got to continue to come on defensively. We've certainly improved ourselves um, and how we're playing. And, um, and we've still got a lot of football to play. That's the thing we've got to realize. And we've got to continue to press forward and move forward and put our best foot forward. But we certainly improved in our last three weeks out. So hold George on to 200 yards rushing, something they continually do. Yes. Well, that I mean, to me, it's about tackling. You know, those guys, they got really good backs. They finish runs. Swift finished a bunch of runs on this. You know, you're sitting there after a first down run, and I'm thinking, all right, it's second and eight, and Kyle Krantz comes over the headset and says second and six. I'm like, damn, he gained two more yards. So we got to get his cleats out of the dirt better, but we tackled well on defense here. We really tackled well today. I, you know, go back and watch the Notre Dame game. They held him to 23 points. I think it was 146 or 152 yards rushing. It, it all comes down to tackling and to get guys on the ground. We didn't have any explosive runs. You know, we did. Swift had one at 14 and White had one at 12. So, um, but nothing. That, there was a there was a huge momentum or field position changer. You know, as far as those things are concerned. Well, just how good is this field to you to get that marquee win against the top five team? Your, your alma mater at their place, your 25-point underdog. And <laughs> I could care less about Will Muschamp. I'm really happy for our players. I'm happy for a staff that works its ass off. I'm happy for our fan base so they can enjoy the week. And uh, and, and that's really what it's all about to me, but it's never about me. Well, you I mentioned uh, being better on tackling. What have you guys done since the beginning of the season to get better with that? 
I wish I could tell you it was some fancy tackling drill, but it wasn't anything. We just getting ourselves in a better position to bring our feet. We're wrapping up better. We, 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 you know, we, we have this bad disease of wanting to butt guys down, and we think that's going to happen in our league, and it does. And it sometimes, for some reason, I feel like in my four years at South Carolina, it takes about two games for us to figure that out. And actually, Coach may know what the hell he's talking about. How does that post-game scene compare to what you've been through as a coach? Just those moments after the field goal miss on the field with your players and fans, how's that? Well, just, you know, it's, it's, it's what you want. It's, what you, it's why you coach in this league. It's why you coach in South Carolina. To be a part of a great win like this, a huge win for us on the road. Uh, we're probably no one in the stadium other than the parents, the kids, and the people sitting in that locker room believed it was going to happen. And Ray Tanner, he believed it was going to happen. And after that, we, we, just, we just worry about us. We're going to take care of us, and that's how we're going to keep moving forward. Let's go back to Coach, I know uh, the carry-on. President Castle, he, he, he knew we were going to win, too. He told me before, before the game. <laughs> Add that on your article. <laughs> To carry on coming back to practice from the hamstring injury this yeah. week, then he comes into the game. Was there a plan to play him at all based on how healthy he was before this? And then what happened? What did you tell him when he came out to step up? Well, unfortunately, because the situation we're in and the lack of practice time, because he missed practice time during the open week. Um, and, and so we really want to continue to develop his role as a receiver. And when you don't, when you're not able to practice as much, especially it all being new, it's very difficult to do that. Um, but, you know, the guy's the ultimate teammate. And it's not happening much in college athletics right now. What can I do for the team is his motto. And what can I do to help? And, again, that says a lot about how he's raised. And Atika and, and, and Lamont and stepdad are great people. And um, and just really proud of that young man to be in this moment, to have this moment to help propel us to a win in that situation is huge. And I appreciate his patience and loyalty to the University of South Carolina. See anybody, Mitch? Coach, when, you know, the pressure starts to mount, if you know, the momentum starts to shift, have you ever seen one of your teams respond and get off the mat as much as they did at the time at the time of this game? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen that a lot. But, you know, at the end of the day, really proud of our guys on the road against a really good football team. And they are a really talented team that's coached extremely well. And, uh, you know, the, they convert a fourth down play. And we held them on the, on the one P.I. That was, that, was, that was P.I. on the fourth down. And we held the guy shouldn't have, but we did it. And then they convert the big over route in the back pylon to, to the Robertson there. And that was the route we worked on. We got to do work on a little bit more, obviously. So, you know, just, you know, again, it says a lot about the type of young men you're recruiting. It says a lot about the character. It says a lot about the belief. It says a lot about culture. It says that everything you want to see demonstrated in a blue collar organization. And that's who we are. And it's real simple, really simple to see. Anybody can test that. They just must not like the Gamecocks very much. Yeah. Well, uh, what went to the decision to try the 57 yard at the end of regulation? Well, you know, Parker's got a leg to do it. Now, people would ask me, what is his yard line? We say the 35 yard line for a 52 yarder. But we, he's hit those before he had the distance. It was just a little bit right. So I felt good about I told BMAC, get us to the 40, and we're going, Parker's going to go win the game. And I put him in the same situation again. He's, I think, a couple sacks, six tackles for loss, um, four, four turnovers, three interceptions. This is the kind of defense you envision having at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I thought, felt, you know, going into the year, obviously very disappointed in our first ball game. You're up 20 to 9. You feel like you got the game in hand. You get a turnover. You get a holding penalty, a jump off sides. You pin them back, and they go 98 yards with a freshman quarterback. I mean, we're going to play field position in this situation, play behind our defense. There's 12 minutes to go in the game. We made the right decision to punt on fourth and one. That was the right decision. I don't give a shit what any of y'all say. All right? And we pinned them back on the five-yard line. And they went 95 yards. And you know what? They made the plays they had to make uh, to, to, to win the game. You know, we didn't, you know, stop as many explosive plays against Alabama as we needed to be. And then on, against Missouri, we did nothing to help our football team by how we played in the first half offensively. So, Again, we will continue to improve and get better. We gave up some yards, but they had 95 plays in the game as well. So we got to get off the field on third down. Jake Crump, my guy that turns the ball over very often, and he'll get him three times today. <laughs> Just what about his, his? Well, he's a fantastic player and, and very uncharacteristic. But we were able to get some pressure, which I don't care how many snaps and turn you have. When you have a lot of pressure, we were able to. The one under. To Israel, Javon Kinlaw had a huge rush inside. Uh, the ball was a tip ball in the spacing concept in overtime that Israel uh, picked off on that ball. And I think there was a miscommunication between the receiver and Jake on the back shoulder ball on their side, in my opinion. I, I don't know that, but that's what I thought. Well, are Sterling and Hutcherson okay? Yeah, yeah, Hutcherson just cramped a little bit in there and just 
No, he just yeah, ended. And this is bothering him a little bit. He's fine. Good back to him. Coach, obviously not the start of the season that you wanted, but back to back conference win. How rewarding is it to see all the hard work you guys have been putting in and start to show some results on the field? Well, sometimes the results don't always equal where you are. You know, and, and that's, uh, you know, I always try to tell the players it's not always about the distance, it's about the direction where you're headed. And I always felt like we were heading in the right path, so I always felt like we have the right people in the building to be successful. And, um, and it's been frustrating. It really has. Uh, you know, and it hurts. The staff works extremely hard, and these young men extremely hard, and I, and I hate to part fan base. But, you know, today was a good win for us. Uh, we got to build off of it. You know, how are we going to handle this? You know, that's, that's going to be a question I have for our football team moving forward. We need to handle this the right way and understand our preparation helped us win this ball game and how we practice and how we go about our, our business. That's that's how you win games. That's how you prepare. And uh, that's what we've got to continue to do. Second goal. Coach, you pretty animated after Brian went down. Your reaction to that now that the game is over with? I'm not, I don't have any comment. Well, Will, if Joyner does have to play significant minutes yeah. going forward, do you have to scale down the, the no, playbook? No, Carolyn's fine. He's, he's, he's fine with everything we do. It's no different than when, when you asked about Ryan. I mean, it's about finding out what they do best and what they're most comfortable doing, and that's what we need to do, um, you know, as far as those things are concerned. So we'll, we'll, we'll drill down what we need to do when we know that moving forward, which we don't know that right now. Rick? Will, you mentioned the uh, preparation that you're put in. Uh, you look at Israel's big day. How much of that was the preparation of the film work this week, or was it just the byproduct of what was happening within the game? Well, I think that – you know, the, the one interception on the touchdown, there was really good pressure. Uh, that's, that's the best pass defense in America is pressure. And I think that, you know, he was able to make a play on the ball and return to the end zone. The tip ball was a nice, he broke on the ball well. And then I think on the on the back shoulder ball was something that they do a lot. I'm not sure what was what happened on that play. I don't know if that was a miscommunication between the quarterback and the receiver. I don't know. But he made a really nice play because that's a very difficult ball to defend. And he played it perfectly from what I my vantage point on the sideline. So, no, he continues to be very productive, and we've got to all continue to be very productive. Is there a point you worried about Javon's snaps, or did you just feel like he was playing so well you had to get him, you had to keep him in there? Felt like he played a lot. Kennel? Yeah. Well, we tried to take him out about three times, and he said, the hell, we all went back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen him? He's like that big. <laughs> I said, yeah, let him keep playing. Is that, do you have any idea how many snaps he played? No, we monitor that. We do monitor that. He normally is pretty good on those situations, but you know, competitive guys want to play, and he's a competitive guy. He want to play in the game. You know, we keep trying to take him out. I say, hell, let him play. He's playing good. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thanks, thanks. Thanks.